guys, welcome back. Today, just gonna be doing a fab video. If you're bored, check it out. My parents in their living room have this Bose surround sound system and a Bose stereo system all works together with their TV. And one of the Bose speakers is sitting right in the middle of the room on this little carpet square thing and they hate it. And they asked me, hey, can you make something that can sit on that looks a little cooler than that carpet thing? So of course, I take something simple, I start working on it, one thing leads to another, turns into a big project. But hey, I record it, I put it on here, gives you something to do, something to watch. I wanna start out with the bass, it's gonna go under a speaker, speaker's gonna sit on it. I don't want four legs sticking down like that. That wouldn't look very good, I don't want that. So I thought about maybe at the base for the speaker, maybe like a cross section can go to one tube that it's set on. So it kind of floats or we can get crazy and do like a suspended. I'm just gonna make this part and then just start freestyling from there. To make this project, I'll be using half inch steel tube and one and a half inch steel tube that I was so graciously given to by my man, Joe. This one's for you. Woo! Got this stuff all measured out in my head. I know where I'm going with it. Time to go cut some metal. There's the piece sitting there dry and looks really cool. I kind of like it from that angle too. It kind of shoots up and looks all weird. Bam. You can see how the welds turned out. Turned out real nice. Welded and then grinded off the weld. I wanted to leave that real flat that speaker to sit on. And I put caulking over all the welds to get them nice and smooth because it'll be around people touching it. Now all that caulking I got over the welds is already dry as well. Nice and soft to the touch. Filled in these little holes on the end. It's time to give it a paint job I think. But first we're gonna clean it up. Their house is incorporated with all kinds of Harley stuff. They like bikes. I like bikes and cars too. So I got this bike piston here out of the motor of a bike. Took it right out of the engine there. It's pretty cool. It's still got the compression rings on it and stuff. Gives it some texture. Look at that, isn't that awesome? Cleaned it up with a wire brush. Let it soak, scrubbed it all out. So I'm gonna try to mount this right on here for a little extra pizzazz. I'm probably gonna install that right there. Now to get it ready for paint, I'm gonna make sure there's no imperfections. I've already grinded down a bunch of it nice and smooth. I'm gonna knock it off with some denatured alcohol and these blue shop towels here. The satin black. There's something missing. I don't know what. One thing is these are open. I don't really like that. I want to find some caps or make some caps to go in there. Close that off. Give it a more professional look. And then maybe something in here. I was rummaging around in my garage and I found these little leveling feet that were for some kind of furniture inside that I didn't use. So let's put those on there. I'm going to put them right back in here. That way they're not sticking out from the edge once they're in. So I'm going to take an old school caliper. Take this bad boy and measure out how thick this bolt is. Get a measurement on that. And I've already went and found it. There is the tap I'm going to use. Stick it in there. If you check your threads 
and you take your tap, it should line right up. See that? If you've never done this before, you just loosen your wrench for your tap there. Tighten that in. Put this in the hole, keep it nice and straight, and tighten it nice and slow. It's going to cut out that thread for me. It's a little easier as you go. Perfect. Adds more shape, a little more detail. This thing is not pulling it off. It's just a little too plain or whatever. So their whole house is steam, Harley Davidson and stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this right here. We're gonna take a rough estimate up here, the width right here, about like that and about like that and I want to put something on there to make it really pop and I was thinking why not the Harley bar and shield sketch this thing out that's about the rough idea of the bar and shield we want to do is we're going to take copper pipe I'm going to cut it slice it open it start cutting it from there You guys want to see an epic fail? This is that Harley shield I was making for it. <laughs> Didn't turn out like planned. See ya. Throwing around the idea of a skull too. I really like this one. There's a little skull I made. Took a screwdriver and etched in some little cracks in it. You can't really tell on video, but it gives it a little bit of edge. But this is what I'm excited about. We're gonna incorporate a piece from my great grandpa's tools. One of the things I like to do, you open this up. Oh, mini wrenches. Oh, you know where we're going here. Check this out. Oh yeah. Slide that bad boy up. You ready for this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you see where we're going here? You see where we're going here? Oh yes, yeah, son. That's gonna be sick. I'm just gonna hot glue them on there. Gorilla glue sticks are awesome. It's taking your grandma's glue gun, your wife's Pinterest mobile right here, and turning it into something you guys are gonna want in the garage. Pretty sweet. Other thing is these little mini wrenches. Like I said, they're my great grandpa's and they're authentic Mac tools. He's an absolute boss. All the way back then, everything he owns is just the best. Place it nice and light. Stick him on. I did order caps for these ends. Ordered them off Amazon. Those won't be here in time for the video. So just have to wait on those. Last thing we gotta do is level this thing. Let's put a level on it, see what it's looking like. She's ready to roll. Kim, he does that to me all the time. This is Jeff's area. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Here it is. <laughs> we just got the caps in. Got the caps in. Let's go put them on. Last minute. Does do you think that it's okay the way that I got them or doesn't care? She's done. Let's take her over there and see what they think of it. It looks pretty awesome. Don't forget the little caps are coming. The caps are coming. Ten freaking days they got to ship. 
Gee. Hey guys, that is all I have for today. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, check out the other people on my channel called Bad Mofos down at the bottom. There's hours and hours of fun videos, more content down there on all kinds of stuff. So make sure you check that out, check that out. Also, remember to subscribe. When you subscribe, you will get notifications to all of my videos and everything that I do in the future. I'm just kind of doing this just so, whatever. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Later. Peace. Oh, now, now. Oh, now.